looking at Neptune's orbit, and it's not following Newton's laws. When Neil deGrasse Tyson made a revelation that no one saw coming, it didn't just ripple through the world of astronomy, it detonated a shockwave that rewrote everything we thought we understood about one of our solar system's most mysterious giants. What he exposed about Neptune was not a minor update. It was a paradigm shift, a wake-up call, a cosmic curveball that left even the most seasoned scientists speechless. Tyson, known across the globe for translating the universe's deepest mysteries into powerful bite-sized truths, delivered this bombshell during a recent symposium, one that was being live-streamed to audiences around the world. The auditorium was packed, the cameras rolled, and then the reveal came. In real time, the scientific community and viewers watching from every corner of the globe were floored as Tyson pulled back the veil on a planet we thought we knew. But according to this new data, Neptune might not be what we've believed it to be at all. Before we unravel the mind-bending implications of what Tyson shared, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more shocking space updates. Trust me, the truth about Neptune is far stranger than fiction, and by the end of this video, you'll never look at the solar system the same way again. For decades, Neptune was the quiet mystery at the edge of our planetary family. The eighth and most distant known planet from the Sun, a cold, bluish world, swirling with gases and ice, orbiting in deep space far beyond the warmth of Earth or Mars. It was first discovered in 1846, but not by telescope. Neptune was found through math. Scientists noticed strange wobbles in Uranus's orbit, ripples that hinted at an unseen force tugging from the darkness. And sure enough, when they crunched the numbers, there it was. Since that moment, Neptune has stood as a scientific curiosity. We've only scratched the surface, literally, with one brief flyby made by Voyager 2 in 1989. That single encounter gifted us a handful of images and shallow data. We saw fleeting glimpses of its turbulent skies, howling winds, and its famously rich blue hue. But beneath that stormy beauty, Neptune remained cloaked in shadow. Its true nature, untouched, unexplored, and largely misunderstood. That is, until Tyson's recent disclosure shattered that illusion wide open. The core of Tyson's announcement centered on something utterly unexpected a breakthrough made possible by a fusion of James Webb Space Telescope data and advanced Earth-based interferometric arrays. These tools, peering deeper and clearer than anything before, exposed a series of anomalies within Neptune's internal structure and behavior that didn't just surprise researchers. They defied the very models we've relied on for decades. Tyson explained that astronomers were picking up inconsistencies in Neptune's gravitational field, its electromagnetic emissions, and even its thermal output. These weren't small variations. They were fundamental contradictions. Signs that what's happening inside Neptune doesn't match the standard blueprint we apply to ice giants. Rather than a simple layered planet where materials sort by density, gas on the outside, ice and ammonia in the middle, and rock at the core, the data pointed to something more chaotic. Neptune appeared to house a swirling, unstable interior, interacting zones of unknown material and temperature spikes that simply shouldn't exist, not at such a distance from the sun. And just like that, the image of a cold, sleepy outer planet was replaced by something alive, volatile, and wildly misunderstood. Instead of a clean, organized planetary interior, what emerged was something far stranger, an interior in turmoil with intermittent zones of plasma-like material and unexpected warmth lurking beneath the icy cloud tops. Tyson described a planetary core that wasn't neatly divided by pressure or temperature, but one where dynamic churning was violently reshaping Neptune from the inside out. These hotter regions? They shouldn't exist, not at this distance from the Sun. Neptune is nearly 4.5 billion kilometers away, too far for solar radiation to provide meaningful heat and there's no massive moon creating tidal friction like Jupiter's Io. So where is the heat coming from? Tyson's team could only point to one conclusion. Something internal is driving the chaos. Some unknown, perhaps even exotic process is generating more energy than expected, pushing heat upward from Neptune's depths to just beneath its visible atmosphere. That alone would have stunned the scientific community. But Tyson wasn't finished, because what came next shook the very foundation of planetary physics. According to Tyson, it wasn't just the internal heat throwing scientists off. Neptune's magnetic field, already known to be tilted and offset, is doing something even stranger. It's shifting, changing, drifting in ways no one anticipated. 
new data revealed that Neptune's magnetic field doesn't just sit askew. It's in flux, warping and reshaping in cyclical patterns. Entire sections of the field seem to break apart, only to reform in new configurations over time. This isn't how planetary dynamos are supposed to behave. Planets like Earth generate magnetic fields through the movement of molten metal cores, stable, directional, and largely predictable. Even gas giants like Jupiter have internal systems involving liquid metallic hydrogen that fuel consistent magnetic fields. But Neptune? It may be running on an entirely different engine. Tyson introduced a stunning possibility. What if Neptune's field isn't driven by metal at all, but by exotic ices? Ices so deeply buried and pressurized that they undergo chemical transformations, creating charged flows unlike anything in the inner solar system. It's this bizarre, electrified interaction, Tyson explained, that may be driving the erratic, shifting magnetism we're now seeing. This isn't just new science. It's a direct challenge to the old one. But Tyson didn't stop with magnetic fields and thermal anomalies. He took the theory one step further and dropped a truly mind-bending possibility. What if Neptune isn't fully solid at all? What if its interior contains hollowed regions, stratified cavities, or vast chambers, where energy, pressure, and electromagnetic forces bounce and resonate in ways we've never seen before? This idea is still speculative, but it's gaining traction because these cavernous pockets could help explain the strange signals, the drifting magnetic fields, the uneven heat signatures, even the distorted gravity waves being picked up by advanced instruments. Imagine a planet that doesn't follow the standard model of compression, but one that contains chambers of material, each behaving like its own mini-system, echoing energy and influencing everything above it. Such a structure would mean Neptune doesn't behave like a giant sphere of compressed matter at all. It would mean our very idea of what planets are is flawed. And if Neptune's architecture is this extreme, then every planetary model we use, from the Earth to distant exoplanets, may be based on assumptions that no longer hold up. The crowd at the symposium? Dead silent. Because what Tyson was describing wasn't just a new theory. It was a completely new kind of planet. If Neptune is this different, this alien compared to our assumptions, then the ripple effect is enormous. Because Neptune didn't just form in its current spot, it's believed to have migrated across the solar system during its chaotic infancy. In doing so, it shaped the Kuiper belt, flung other celestial bodies off course, and may have even been responsible for ejecting a fifth giant planet from the early solar system entirely. That makes Neptune a key architect of our planetary neighborhood. And if its structure is more chaotic, exotic, or unstable than we thought, then the entire history of our solar system, how planets formed, moved, and evolved, might need to be rewritten. Textbooks would have to be re-examined, simulations rebuilt, and every theory about planetary behavior, migration, and evolution recalibrated, all because one ice giant doesn't fit the mold. But just when you think it can't get more bizarre, Tyson added one more twist. Using data from multiple observatories, scientists picked up irregular radio emissions coming from deep inside Neptune. Not from surface weather, not from solar wind interactions, but from within. And these emissions didn't behave like anything we've seen from natural planetary activity before. Their frequencies were off, their origin points buried, and their patterns unfamiliar, even to seasoned researchers. Some now believe these signals could point to unknown processes, maybe even quantum level activity happening under the intense pressure of Neptune's interior. And that's when things got truly strange. Tyson then pointed to something so rare, so extreme, that until recently, it had only existed in theoretical models and lab simulations. Superionic ice. That's right, Neptune may be harboring layers of exotic material where water behaves in ways that break the rules of what we think water can be. In this bizarre state, water molecules lose their hydrogen atoms, transforming into a slushy, electrified soup part solid, part liquid, and capable of conducting electricity like a metal. This superionic ice doesn't just sit still, either. Under Neptune's crushing pressure, it could be flowing in conveyor belts deep beneath the surface, generating internal currents, turbulence, and possibly even playing a role in the strange magnetic field behavior observed above. This phase of matter, never seen naturally on Earth, could be a major structural component inside Neptune forming dynamic networks that act like a planetary nervous system, sending energy and signals through its core. And these discoveries don't just affect how we think about Neptune. They impact how we understand weather, too, because Neptune has some of the fastest winds in the entire solar system, 
reaching over 1,300 miles per hour. For years, scientists believed these were driven by differential heating and upper atmospheric dynamics. But now, we're looking at something different. Internal heat pulses, Tyson explained, could be stimulating Neptune's weather from the inside out, not from the sun, not from atmosphere, from within. If that's true, then Neptune becomes the first planet where the entire weather system might be self-generated, powered by deep thermal instabilities, or even phase transitions happening between exotic materials under unfathomable pressure. The implications don't stop at Neptune. Out beyond our solar system, thousands of exoplanets have been discovered, many in the category we call mini-Neptunes or sub-Neptunes. These worlds share similar size and composition to Neptune. They're among the most common types of planets found by missions like Kepler and TESS, and they've become a central focus in the search for habitable environments beyond Earth. But here's the catch. If Neptune, our solar system's namesake for this class, is fundamentally different from what we thought, then everything we assume about these distant worlds might be wrong. Their internal structures, their atmospheres, their heat generation, all may be far more complex, chaotic, and unpredictable than our current models suggest. Tyson warned that our classification systems could be dangerously oversimplified. Our ideas about composition, habitability, and planetary evolution might all be based on outdated or incomplete information. The question now becomes, how many other Neptunes out there are hiding secrets just as baffling, or even more so? One of the most startling possibilities Tyson raised was this. Could Neptune represent a kind of celestial in-between? Not quite a planet, but not quite a failed star either? While it's far too small to sustain fusion like a star, its unusual heat generation and complex internal energy systems might place it in a gray area, a transitional class of bodies that challenge our traditional labels. This isn't just academic. It means the binary definitions we've relied on for centuries, planet or star, might be inadequate. Instead, there could be a spectrum of celestial objects out there, with Neptune sitting somewhere in the middle, a strange hybrid with properties we're only beginning to understand. If that's true, then the implications ripple far beyond Neptune itself. It forces us to reconsider how we define planetary evolution, formation, and classification, opening doors to a whole new category of astronomical objects waiting to be discovered. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Neptune's mysteries, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing space updates. We want to hear from you. Drop your thoughts and theories about Neptune in the comments below. What surprises do you think lie beneath those icy clouds? Do you believe Tyson's revelations will change how we see our solar system forever? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for another journey beyond the stars.